Hello everyone, it's Amity Sensei. Today I want to introduce you to a new note taking app. It's a free app called Nebo, and using this app, I want to create some notes with science as a subject. What's interesting about this app is that you can create graphs like diagrams or they call it infographics really quickly. This is the final version, but you can also move the outline of the square or lines of the arrow freely with your hands later on. Isn't it really cool? So this is something I want to talk about today. Also, what's great about Nebo lies in its handwriting to digital text conversion ability. If I touch or double tap these handwritten letters, for instance, they will be converted into digital text. The quality as well as the speed of this function are excellent, so I'll introduce you to this app focusing on these points. This app can be downloaded for free. They have some features for in-app purchases, but even without them, you can use many features, so this time I want to try and see how well I can take notes only using the free features. Alright, let's launch Nebo. As you open the app, you'll see that UI design is similar to many other note-taking apps. So from the plus button here, start creating a new note. So tap this and it will be like this. Here we have brush settings, a eraser, a lasso tool, as well as the color at the top. There is a plus button at the upper right, and this is where you can insert images or diagrams, as mentioned earlier, and even formula. You can also find a search tab, an export option, and etc. here. And these are pretty much the same as in other apps. I want to start off by introducing you to the most amazing function you can find in Evo, and that's the handwriting to digital text conversion. It automatically converts your handwriting to digital text. So grab a brush, which can be anything, and start writing something random here. Once that's done, you should see something like the text option level right here. So when you feel like it's ready, just double tap your writing and it will convert to digital text. In case you find text too small, draw an underline below your handwriting. Then double tap it and now the text should be displayed slightly bigger. So it will be a subtitle by drawing an underline below your writing and converting it. On a side note, if you draw a double on the line, it converts your letters to the size of title so they will be bigger in size. Like this. So remember that if you draw on the line, it will be subtitle. And if you draw a double on the line, it will be title. If you don't draw anything, it will just be text in regular font size. By the way, these letters can be moved freely by your fingers and you can set them to the position you prefer. Next, I want to briefly introduce you to color pens. I'm writing some letters in black here like I did earlier, and if I want to delete them for instance, you could use an eraser of course, but you could instead grab a red pen and just scribble the part out like this too. This way, the part you want to delete will be removed like this. Then, if I want to have these letters in red, draw a red on the line below, and they'll be converted to red in color. So you pretty much don't really need an eraser. And this works in the same way with other color pens too, so I could also scribble out the part I don't need with this blue pen, draw a blue on the line to change the color, and now the letters are converted. By the way, if I draw a double on the line here and double tap, the letters are now converted to blue text with the size of title. If you touch here, you can then add new text too. From here, I'm going to insert a diagram. When creating a graph from the plus button, select the fourth option from the top that says Diagram. As you click on it, something like a box will appear on the screen. This is what I'll be drawing. This can be done from the plus button at the upper right, but instead, long press the screen and there's an option that says Add Objects, so you could also insert a diagram from here. Alright, so now I'm going to start creating a diagram. If I write a box like this and double tap it, it will be converted into a nice text box. This goes the same for the rest, so even if I draw two boxes, one on the right and the other one on the left, and tap here, 
Now they are converted into a nicely shaped text box. Let me draw a line here connecting them. It will look something like this if you want to draw an organizational chart. And for this line too, if you double tap it, it will be converted to a nice straight line. And the position of the line can be adjusted too. The shape of this text box I created earlier can be adjusted later too. So set them according to your preferences. Since the length of a diagram can be extended towards the bottom, and since I want to create an organizational chart, I can keep extending the box like this. This time my theme is animal classification, and I assume we've all learned that animals can be classified into vertebrate animals and invertebrate animals, and so I want to create a chart showing that here. Once you have your organizational chart, start writing text inside each box. So here at the top, I'm going to put animals. And as I did earlier, type the letters you wrote and they'll get converted to digital text. So in the same way, handwrite text in every single box and convert it to digital text. Okay, I'm done with my diagram. I think it looks pretty good and it doesn't even look like they were all handwritten in the first place. There are many other kinds of diagrams, so please try and create a diagram using this at Nevo. Next, I want to introduce you a different function used for handwritten text and try drawing a different graph. I have my handwritten letters here like this, and we all know by now that as you tap and drag it, it can be moved freely as shown earlier. But as you tap here, you should see something like this text frame. And if you drag it, your handwritten letters will be displayed by paragraph starting a new line. Isn't this really cool? Since they recognize each letter, as you pull it, it starts a new line. You could also leave space between letters by bringing the cursor or erase the letters one by one with the delete button here. I find it such an amazing feature and I was super impressed when I found out about it for the first time. This is something you can't do with other note-taking apps so I think this is what makes Nebo unique. You can have a new indent using the text frame mentioned earlier too. But if you draw a straight line using a color pen like this, you start a new line after from the part you drew the line. Like this, as you draw a line, you start a new line. If you want to undo the part indented, then draw a line from the bottom to up instead. This way, you will undo the part indented and become a single line. So just like this, you could organize your notes too. Using a text frame is also fine, so use whichever way you prefer. Next, I want to create a sort of table or a list by category. So I'm just going to write things like fishes, amphibians, reptiles, birds, etc. And once I categorize them like this, and when I want to enclose them in a square, as I enclose them, it will look like this. Even if I want to leave it to have the impression of handwriting, because of the automatic conversion function in Nevo, it gets converted to a perfectly shaped square. This happens because the app is suited for automatic conversion, and that's why it looks like this. But I assume there are still times where you want to have handwritten shapes. In this case, there is a draft or a handwriting tool, so that's something I want to show you guys here. To do that, or to activate a draft tool, draw a full straight line from the left end to the right end. This will then display a sort of draft area with grids out of here and anything written on these grids won't be converted to digital text, leaving your handwriting. So this is where I will draw my table. Okay, I'm done with the category table, so now copy and paste this to the body text. To copy and paste, Grab a lasso tool at the top, outline the part you want to copy, 
type copy, and there are options where you can say how you want it to be copy. So select sketch this time. I will copy this in sketch format this time. Long tap, tap paste, and now the table I created can be pasted here. Just like this, using the app Nebo, create a box for a diagram if you want to create any shapes or create a box for a sketch if you want to have a sketch. So you would have to create a box each time, but once you have the box, the rest should be easy. Just remember that any text or shape in the body text will be converted automatically. So this app Nevo isn't really a handwriting note-taking app, and it's suited for those who want to convert text or shapes, I think. So if you want to handwrite letters but you find your handwriting a bit messy, or you often take handwriting notes yet wishing to convert into text, I highly recommend this Nevo. The OCR function is impressive, so even if your handwriting is messy, you'll convert them nicely. Alright, it's almost complete! But last, I want to introduce you to two other functions I haven't introduced. They are image soul and a formula. First about an image soul. From the plus button at the upper right, there is an image option. So tap it, and from here, you can insert any images from your camera roll. I actually tried to add this image of fish, and I wanted to have it in the middle of the text, but even when I tried to move it to the point or bring the cursor there, it didn't really work. Instead, it was pasted at the very bottom here. So when inserting the image, you'd have to do that as you type in text, or it wouldn't really work. So this was something a bit disappointing for me. The image gets stuck at the bottom, and it doesn't move at all even when I try to, like this, as you can see. Next is about a formula tool. Same as before, from the plus button at the upper right, select formula at the very bottom here. This way a text box will appear, and if I put a formula like 5825 times 201 over 3 plus 51 divided by square root of 3 for instance, with an equal sign at the end inside the box and double tap it, you automatically calculate everything. This is pretty amazing. So like this, you could extend the box and add more. And this works not only with numbers, but also with symbols. So you could have symbols including x, y, and n, and with the equal sign at the end, you automatically calculate for you as well. So please go ahead and try this out. I find this upgrade for those who deal with numbers too. By the way, I've introduced you to a different app called MyScript Calculator, where it calculates everything for you too, and apparently, MyScript Calculator and Nebo are created by the same company, so you could use either one if you're looking for an app like them. In one of my previous videos, I showed you some hacks combining both MyScript Calculator and GoodNotes 5. So if you're interested, please watch this video, and I'll leave a link in the description box down below. Okay, that's all for today. It's pretty fun using this app as it converts things like charts and letters instantly. It's a free app too, so please download it. You may find this app a bit confusing when compared to other note-taking apps, but there are a few things you can do only in Nevo, so please give it a try and use it if you like. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. So many tutorial videos dedicated to the use of iPads, so please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye!